me today are five different zero tolerance items from Nash. Now these are dedicated winter clothing specific really, but some of them I guess you could take on into spring and summer. But before we jump into all that, please do make sure you're subscribed to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the different social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. So as I said, I've got five different items with me today. I'll move on to the ones to my right and my upper half in a second, but I'll start with the joggers because these are joggers I've had for the last couple of winters and they have been a godsend. Now they're not something that's going to solve all kind of winter conditions. We had pretty harsh winters the last few years, so I still do occasionally have to resort to my long johns. I'll let you picture that very briefly. But they've got a lovely carab caraboa. Caraboa. I'm going to struggle with that one all the way through today. Caraboa lining, which is very luxury. Well, I've got some cutaways, but here you are. I'll show you a bit of ankle as well. Lovely soft lining on the inside, which gives extra warmth. And it's 320 gram material all the way through, which is nice and thick material. You've also got elasticated cuffs to keep drafts away from your ankles, going up your leg, and obviously a drawstring waistline as well. The other thing you'll notice is these knee pads, which are fully waterproof, which are ideal for crouching down, sorting out your bobbins and things, or if you are lucky enough of getting a fish, being able to crouch down and putting your knees on the ground and not have any kind of water ingress onto under layers or getting that lining on the inside wet and miserable. So it keeps your legs nice and warm and dry, which is ideal this time of year because most of the time the ground's going to be horribly wet and muddy. So that's a really nice little feature. And as I said, I've had these for the last couple of years and they've been really, really enjoyable to use. They're nice and solid and they're, they're definitely something I resort to every single winter. I think coming into April, May, when you get those cold nights, they're still nice, but coming to the day when the sun comes out, you'll find you'll be sweating your nuts off if you still keep these on. So it definitely is more of a winter item, these, so they do their job that time of year. And looking online, the prices you're looking to pay at for these are around the 59.99 mark. Now we'll move over onto this, which is the quilted jacket. Now this is basically wearing a sleeping bag around your top half because it's 450 gram 3M Thintulate material. So if you think of a, a sort of more of a lightweight sleeping bag, that's basically what this is. It's not one of those really puffy five season sleeping bags, otherwise I'd be here like the Michelin man, but it's perfect to be a top layer because it's waterproof as well, so it's shower resistant. It's not the most waterproof if you're getting absolute downpours. I'm sure it will start to ingress. It's more of a shower coat, but the warmth this offers is pretty unrivaled. We're gonna it's probably only three or four degrees today, as Ian shivering behind the camera, and only a hoodie will agree to. Wind's pushing across, and this cuts out the wind, and that those the fibres that are in there, the polyester outer, sort of stopping the wind from getting through as well. It's a really nice and warm coat. Now, the actual functionality of them, we'll start with the sleeves. We've got these neoprene thumb holes. It stops your sleeves from riding up, so if you want to keep them down there. I don't tend to use these too much. I find they start to dig into my thumbs a little bit too much but every now and then if you're doing things that you don't want your sleeves to ride up put your thumbs in there and it will stop the sleeves from riding up on the inside we've got a zipped pocket perfect for a phone maybe a receiver just anything valuable in there that you don't want to lose on the outside we've got two zipped pockets which have a thin sort of microfiber fleece lining on the inside so they're nice and warm and a full length zip with wind baffle. It's a huge wind baffle with the zero tolerance logo going all the way down and also the drawstring <laughs> there's me looking for it you shouldn't lose it because it's absolutely massive this can be taken off if you don't like it but it's a nice big drawstring so even if your hands are frozen to the core you'll still be able to grab all of that and pull it up even if you're shivering on the very top if i put the hood up as you can see there is a reinforced peak which is just a little bit extra protection from the rain it's not going to be like a massive peak on a bivy so don't expect to keep a dry face but it just gives that little extra protection on the very top of your forehead so you're going to keep your eyebrows dry and then on the inside you've got the carob Bua lining again, which is nice and soft feel. So if you didn't have a hoodie on underneath or a hat, that should feel nice against your ears and your bald head. So that's quite nice. And this quilted jacket comes in at 129.99. I'll take this one off. It will reveal what I'm wearing underneath, which I was very lucky to get on me today because ever since this got delivered, my wife has been stealing it for her morning walks. Now, if anyone has a lady in their life, they'll know that they are always cold. So for her to find something that keeps her warm is actually pretty incredible. And she's been using this on her morning walks before sunrise with her friend. And it's normally frosty, icy and horrible. And she's been coming back almost too hot in this. And that shows just how good this is. If it's keeping my wife warm, then it's going to keep all of us warm. So as you can see, nice and warm. I've said that so many times. If this was a drinking game, you'd all be smashed by now. But really soft, should we say but it is really warm. There's a reason that sheep are covered in this sort of thing, because it keeps them nice and warm. Even in the wind, I've been actually quite impressed. I was expecting this one to be a little bit more open and the wind cutting through, but that wind's pushing against my arm right now. I can feel it on my hand, can't feel a single thing on my arm. 
so you guessed it it's really warm this continues on the inside really soft on there all the way down the bottom and you've got this big kangaroo pouch on the front to put my hands in instantly that's warming my hands up because they're the only things in me right now that are cold this is not just a hand warming pocket if i lift up this little tab here three velcros which are really strong actually you've then got a zipped pocket perfect for any kind of valuables and as you can see from this little cutaway you can store quite a lot in here i think i had a real uh, a line spool sorry catapult pop-ups and all sorts so you don't need to keep all that sort of thing in there you can even put a hot water bottle in there probably for the real depths of winter that's probably why it's that big actually that sounds like quite a good idea so a nice big pouch to put that in once again we've got a hood with the same lining on the inside so it's nice and smooth and but you've also got this polyester finish on other parts of the coat which just gives it a bit of a different look i suppose those bits are going to be a bit more waterproof than the rest of it not that you're going to be wearing this as a waterproof jacket but it does mean that your shoulders and that the key parts of you will be kept dry if you were caught in a little bit of a shower you've got a halfway zip excuse the mic so it's not a full length zip this also shows on the inside that fleece lining just continues everywhere. And one other feature to mention on this hoodie are the elbow pads. I'm guessing this is so if you're leaning on something that's wet, it's fine, but I thought it's just if you want to try and take a nice cute photo whilst you're on the bank and not want to get your elbows wet. So that's why we got this cutaway. And this one comes in at 89.99. And that takes us on to this, the smock. Now this one is a bit more designed to be worn as a complete outer layer in case it starts raining as well because this one the material is a 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head now if you think that's kind of the lower end of a bivy material but if it's trusted to keep you dry in a bivy it sure as hell it's going to keep you nice and dry as a coat so that shows you how much of a water resistance this coat has the actual front is a half zip design once again with velcro at the top so the wind baffle cuts any wind out so it's easy to get on and off on the inside, once again, we've got that Caraboa soft lining. So it's a really nice soft feel inside. Gives it a bit of extra warmth. We've also got a kangaroo pouch at the front, once again, for all the, well, easy to put your hands in there, store some things. And underneath this pouch is a little zip. You can store some things in there, but it also has a little stuff away bag. So you can roll this coat up into this bag. Not gonna lie, it can be a bit of a faff to get it in this bag, but it can go in there. I, but it's not something I'm going to try and do live on camera for you right now, because it, it may take a bit of time. But it does go in there, and you've got little shoulder straps that you can hold that on your back. But it's just nice. Probably quite good for just little recce sessions, walk around the lake in case the rain suddenly comes on, you can chuck that on. And probably good for festivals as well. I'm thinking that, because hopefully I'm going to go to Glassbury this year. On the cuffs, we've got that neoprene elastication there again for your thumb screw, thumb screws, your thumb holes. I'm talking about bank sticks too much lately. So that again stops the cuff from rolling up. And we've got a hood with that lining on the inside and again slightly reinforced peak at the very top as well on the sides the only other thing to note is that we have two little zips so you can open this up if you're wearing clothing that it doesn't quite fit over or it's easy to chuck on or you've got a big arse you can loosen that off so it will fit over you as well so that is the smock pretty much covered and this comes in at 109.99 good timing for the horn and that brings us on to the very last item which is the hoodie I've probably been wearing the most and this is simply the zero tolerance hoodie very much the same material used as the joggers as you can probably see they look pretty much the same although these have been wearing for the last few winters so the color may be ever so slightly different from a few washes and tumble dries but it's the 320 gram material you've also got that soft lining that we've come to see on the joggers and all these other items so it's nice and warm and soft on the inside elasticated waist so it grips around your uh, your waist nicely and stops any drafts it's also uh, quite snug and it's a longer length which is what i quite like if you're like me a bit taller or you find that some of your hoodies are just a bit too short and they ride up when you're doing certain things it's quite nice that the length of this is decent it actually goes down the back of you stops drafts and stops getting a plumber's crack when you're checking your hangers so you don't have to flash everyone else your bum crack on the front we've got kangaroo pouch once again but it's actually two separate pockets i can't touch my fingers through the middle of these so you've got two individual pockets with these poppers which again are really firm poppers as you can see so they're not weak ones that are going to fail over time they're really strong so if you want to put some bits in there and keep them in there without using zips you can do so the hood still you've got that fleece lining on the inside 
and you've also got this crossover neck section if you can see that so all that is when you put your hood up it kind of covers your mouth a bit more so it's great for those of you that don't wear glasses as you can see from some of the shots when i was showing that function on some of these items it does steam up your glasses but if you want to keep your mouth and sort of lower part of your face warm that's where that comes in so it's really handy and once again as we'd expect to see on the cuffs we've got the thumb holes as well stopping that sleeve from rolling up when you're doing anything where you don't want the sleeves to roll up but the, the overriding thing i've found with this one is just it's a good size i think this is a large and i'm a bit too heavy for what i'd like to be right now but about 86 kilos six foot plus and this is the perfect size for me so that gives you a bit of a size guide for all of these things have been a large with me today so that comes in at 59.99 which i think is the same as what the joggers were so that's the same sort of material all the other prices i've gone through so if you like the look of this these items do go and check them out maybe pick some of them up if you really do like them that's everything i need to get across to you now i think and yet again nothing's happened with the fish what's going on ian you should have put your odds out as well yeah. i've had something anyway he's shivering away so please like the video if you did and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already and follow us on all different social media platforms, as I've said earlier as well. And I'll see you in the next one, where hopefully spring arrives, which might make this video a little bit numb and void. But knowing, the, knowing Britain, it's just going to be cold for months. And then we're going to have a drought, and then it's going to be back to winter. I'll just stood on my lace.